Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. Oh, and the timer is late! You got him on, Reese! What time is it? It's time and time, Reese! Ah! Known as the sport fishing capital of the world, Isle Morada is the crown jewel of the Florida Keys. There's no other place in the world where an angler can go hunt for sailfish offshore and then head to the backcountry to fish for bonefish, snook, or tarpon in the same day. On today's episode of Sportsman's Adventures, Captain Rick takes his beautiful co-host of the Florida Insider Fishing Report, Bree Gabrielle, to Isle Morada to try and catch her very first tarpon. Yeah. Real? Real. Serious? When do I back? Well, maybe big Cravals. Maybe big jacks, Bree. Oh, and the time is late! Carbon! You got him all, Bree! What time is it? It's carbon time, Bree! Ah! That's what you came here for. <laughs> I'm gonna put the motor on spot lock. Okay, you can just take the Controlling alignment. motor. Slide this hand up here a little and that'll give you more leverage. Perfect. Oh, I think I might have one now too, Bree. Oh no, a double header! Rick, what time is it? It's time and time. Oh goodness. Look, I got one on too, Bree. We got double header on. Look at this. What do you think about the Florida Keys fishing, Bree? Florida Keys are the best ever. <laughs> double header. Diver down! Diver, Diver down! down. <laughs> All right, now listen. This isn't a race because he's a big fish, you know. Keep reeling. Just keep pressure on him. And as he goes to, if he goes left, you're gonna go right. This fish is getting ready to jump right here. He's gonna jump. He's down there shaking his head it right now. Me in the face. Come up here and jump, big boy. I'm gonna smack you in the face. That's okay. Smack me in the face. Wait, do I need to? Can I follow? Oh, there he is. Wait, should I follow it? Come on, Bree. Go Wait, to the back. Go to the to back, go. Bree. Go to the back. Don't let him break you off. Yeah, Bree. My bicep. Coming your way, Bree. What? Come up this way. What? Hurry. Come to the front. There you go. What I did is I put the trolling motor on spot lock so we don't. Can I put it here. You can put it anywhere you want. I don't care. <laughs> All right, now listen, We're go I'm going under. You go over. This is like a dam. Okay, coming to the back. I'm getting sick. <laughs> Can I close yeah. this? No! Oh! He's jumping, don't oh! forget to bounce on him. Right. He's close. Wait. Go. You think it's chaotic enough catching a one tarpon? We had to go catch two, huh? Stay tight, Bree. It's pretty tight. You leave Isla Mirada at daylight. You run back into Everglades National Park. Million eight hundred thousand acres of breeding ground for tarpons and snooks. The month of May. There's no, you know, think about it, Bree. You could go <laughs> offshore and catch big dolphin and yellowtails today. Or you can run to the back country. Go to the front, Bree. <laughs> Don't let him get you under the trolling motor. You'll go to the back country and catch snooks that are staging the spawn on the beaches. Everglades, that's, look at him jump up. <laughs> Woo! Oh you pulling on yours? Yeah, I'm pulling. <laughs> I need more leverage. Oh, let me go under you. Oh. Ah. Oh! Can you just... Rick! Keep pulling! Keep pulling! Whoa! <laughs> Yay! I got my leader! That's caught! Alright, Bree. Alright, 
Show us how it's done. I'm gonna try. Come here, buddy. Come here. Back up. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Keep all hanging there, Bree. I'll get this guy off. What do you think? Double header. Yay! <laughs> Mr. Tarbin, thank you so much. All right, go home. Perfect, for real. See, the line will never break if it's not tight. Right. Good job. All right, bring him to me. Oh! I got my What do you mean I got it, I got the leader right here. Something wrong with this? There's not a fish on it. Yeah, he is. He's, He's gone. gone, that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna just let him go anyway. He gone. We're gonna let him go anyway. Right, First time, Ben. What? Kinda. No, what do you mean kinda? Oh, you think you gotta touch him? Yeah. All right, well then we'll just have to catch you another one. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Williamson Lures for the Pelagic Playground. Maverick Boat Company, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And Rapala. Catch the latest at rapala.com. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha forward thinking. The all new F200 inline four stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all new F200 legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. He's fished here for decades. He knows every hump, every drop off, every contour. He's dedicated his entire life to understanding this single body of water. And he didn't know squat about it until two hours ago. AutoChart Live lets you build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Only with Onyx. Only from Humminbird. said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Thank you for joining us on Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the latest happenings, contests, appearances by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to hook up with Sportsman's Adventures, you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus tips and techniques on our YouTube channel. If there's a product that we use during the show that you'd like to know more about, you can find links to our sponsors by heading to sportsmansadventures.com.
The History of Diving Museum is located in Isla Mirada, Florida, mile marker 83. We're right in the middle. It's a great spot to be. We say, don't drive by, dive in. Once you get here, you're going to enter into the gift shop, which has a lot of things uh, for kids and all ages. And then through a huge hatch, you're going to go into our timeline. And our timeline spans 5,000 years, from breath hold diving, commercial diving, the South Florida influence, our 20,000 league exhibit, we have a military, and we end in the abyss. The South Florida influence in the Miller Dunn helmets were popularized because it was made in Miami, Florida. Once those came onto the scene in the early 1900s, it was used to open up everybody's eyes to marine biology, underwater photography, recreational diving, and salvaging and treasure hunting. So using the Miller Dunn helmets and treasure diving, Art McKee popularized bringing up the 1733 fleet. And actually we have one of the Atosha bars in the treasure room that you can pick up and, and try to lift a 70 pound silver bar. In the museum, we also have our signature piece, which is the Parade of Nations, and it popularizes and shows the best of 45 helmets from around the world. And then we have the military exhibit that focuses on each branch of the military, which of course the most popular is the Mark V helmet. In our regulator and rebreather section, it goes through the development of regulators from the 1800s up through Jacques Cousteau popularizing it in the early 60s. And when you exit the museum, there's actually a Miller Dunn open bottom helmet that you have to stop and get a photo op in. When you're in Isla Mirada, Florida, don't drive by, dive in to the History of Diving Museum. You'll be wowed at all the things we have for you. Hey! Don't forget the bow. Keep one. What do you mean by that? You're gonna point the rod, you're gonna point the rod right at him and extend your rod like when he this jumps? when he jumps to give him as much slack as you possibly can. Got it. Okay? Doing good. Keep winding. Wind, 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 wind. He's just swimming at you. Don't forget, when, if he goes to the front, you gotta run to the front. Ow, my hip bone! Bow! Oh. Yay! Bowing! Wine? Huh? Wine? Don't. Wine? Wait, he's going. Wine? Under. Wine? Going just here. listen to the guy. Don't argue with the guy. Listen to him. There you go. Now pull right. The other right. Wind down. Shorten the leader just a little. Perfect. Perfect. Keep going. Pull left. Now back right. Wind down. Shorten the leader. That's it. The leash, so to speak. Pull left. All right, go to the front. Real. Pull from right there. Good. Pull from right there. Perfect. Wind. Wind. Keep winding. Wind. Keep winding. Wind. Wind. Pull right. Pull right. Wind. Good. Bring him to me. Left. Pull left. All right. Good job, Bree. Keep winding. That's it. Shorten that leash. That's it. Keep going. Hey, buddy. Rick, what time is it? It's time in time. For the Bree. second time. Yay. All right. Hooked in a bad spot. Okay, Bree. Yay! How cool is that? So cool. Now you're gonna hold him like this. See his little bottom lip? You can stick your fingers right in here like this, and you just pinch your two fingers together against that membrane. Got it? Hold him like, I mean, like a man. All right, got him. Just hold him there for one second. There we go. Okay. All right, face him into the current. The current's going that way. Oh, man. Okay. Yay! <laughs> hey. That's Thanks, turning you into a carpet girl. Yeah. How about it? Oh, man. That was awesome. I like it. Let's do some more. You want to do it? Okay. 
Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by La Jolla Resort, a place for family and fishermen. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Custom trailer manufacturer, Ameritrail. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line. VMC, your expert in hooks. Startron, cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. And there's no stopping Okuma. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel-efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats. Performance through innovation. Last night, you know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Uh, alone. Ah! What? Oh, oh, yeah! It's all in the pause. New Shadow Rap from Rapala. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Yamaha's next-generation V6 four-strokes are changing the game. Mid-range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. Couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a, just, I was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are, like, it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it the Game Changer. So Bree, I want to show you so that if you're not fishing with me, you're fishing with one of the other captains or you go with Joe, I want to show you the tackle that we're using for this tarpon. Okay. So we have a Shimano 6000 with, it's loaded up with suffix 832 20 pound line. This color is called the ghost color. Now I took some 40 pound suffix Invisi line and we made about 10 feet of 40 pound tied to a double line bimini here on the, the white 832. Now, because tarpon have a pretty rough mouth, mm -hmm. what we also do is we add a piece of suffix Invisiline 60. And the this, this suffix is very abrasion resistant, and that's why I like to use it. So we're gonna use for bait, after we tie on our VMC 7385 black nickel 70 hook and the reason why we use a 70 is because it has a big enough gap that when the fish comes up and bites the pinfish mm -hmm. there's enough space between the point of the hook and the shank of the hook so that it can actually hook him either in the top of the mouth or the bottom of the mouth or in the corner and as you've seen that's where always the hook has been yeah exactly <laughs> given is that so anyway dip me out a pinfish and then I'll explain to you why we use the cork. Alrighty. As you can see, in there, we've got a whole live well full of crabs and assorted size pinfish. That's a perfect size one. Perfect. Now, remember this, guys. If you're going to use a pinfish and you want to eliminate a smaller fish from biting, use a big pinfish. Okay, now this is the important part of why we had to have a 7-0. We're going to hook this pinfish right here in the shoulder, right in front of the dorsal fence. 
But the key is we got to have enough space between the point of the hook and the shank of the hook. Now watch what happens if we hook this fish deep. If we hook him down deep, then what ends up happening, we don't have a lot of space. So a lot of times the fish would come up and he would bite that, but he would miss it. Or you wouldn't be able to hook him because this isn't going to tear out of that pinfish. So you don't have to hook him too deep. I like hooking him right here in the shoulder, just like that, and it gives me plenty of uh, space um, you know, to get him hooked and it'll slide into the corner of his mouth. Plus on a big fish, they got a big gap in their lip and also the top of their lip. So you gotta have enough gap in the circle hook to go in there and do its thing and hook them in the side of the mouth or in the top of the mouth. Now Bree, what I do is I just use a standard popping cork, a trout cork. And the reason why it gets green in color one is they're weighted. So it allows me to cast even that much further. It's bad enough that they're wind resistant. And essentially all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this up above the knot of where the 60 and the 40 are tied and we'll slide it up and down depending on the depth that we're fishing. We're fishing in here about 10 feet of water so I want to have about five, four and a half to five feet of water. So it looks like with our bubbles and everything that we got going on here in the live well, all our pinfish are happy. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I think we're ready to go. So we're just gonna reel this up, get it from around the bubble hose. The bubble hose. There, come on, one more time. All right, and now all we do is just gonna throw it out sideways to the current. Boom. Boom, now we're in the game. The key to this too is, I believe my pinfish is like a traveling salesman. So I wanna keep him traveling. So I'm not gonna lock up the bale here on this 6,000 size Shimano reel. Mm -hmm. We're just going to keep letting him go out, let him go down current, and he's always swimming into a new place. And he gets way down there, way down current from us, where we may be jeopardizing, jeopardizing losing the fish. Mm -hmm. Then what we'll do is we'll reel him back in nice and slow. And the reason why is we fished down, now we want to reel him back through there so we get the fish the other half of the pie. We'll throw one off the bow, one off the stern. And that's how we fish 180 degrees of the boat. That's how you do it. What, time what do you is think? It? Tarpon time. Tarpon time. All right, let's catch one. Okay. Go. Reel, reel. Don't raise it, just reel. That's it. Ah, whoa! Yeah. Big one! <laughs> I'm bound. Big one! Okay, bring it back in though. You gotta have a slack. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're good. You're good. Bow. Bow. That's it. Okay. Little late, little late. I don't want to lose this one. Oh, my biceps, you all hurt. I do? Just one. Mm. Back him up. Don't forget oh. the bow, bow. Oh. That's it. Go to the right. That's it. That's it. Keep going right a little. You're going to set him up for a left hand pull here. There you go. Why? All right, now pull left. Perfect. 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 Keep pulling left, honey. Keep pulling left. Easy. Okay, now go back to the right. See how he's shaking his head? And yeah. every time you pull it against his back, it really hurts him. Wind down. Steady. Nice and easy. That's it. He's almost done, Bree. Great job. See his dorsal fin starting to fall down instead of sticking straight up? Let's see how he's tight. Now back right. We'll lay that line just like a horse. I want to pull him straight back to those reins, you know? Okay. Hand me the leader. I'm going to pull on him a little for you. Just because I got the leader doesn't mean I have him, okay? Right. Okay, give it back to me. Good. Wine. Watch the line. Wine, wine, breathe. Wine, breathe. Stuck. It's okay. I got it. I'm just want you to keep it tight, okay? Ugh. 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 Oh, That's man. a big one. That's oh. a big one. That's a big one. Watch out, breathe. Let me in there. Let me get in there. That's a big one. That's a big one. 
Hi, right, Bree. Good job. Thanks. That's a nice fish. Get that, that hook out of him. Beautiful. Just reach over my back here and get that hook out of him. Can you get him? There you go. There you go. Good job. Look at how beautiful that fish is. You want to pat him on the head? Her. Her. Exactly. Thanks, Bob. Big female. Nice. That is a big fish. All right, here we go. We're going to let him go. I feel One, it. One, two, three. Go, baby, go. Oh, Good shoot. job. Thanks. That was hey, awesome. So much fun. That right there, those big tarpon are what make great sportsman's adventures. Heck yeah. And you did an awesome job. Congratulations. You guys get to see Bree Gabrielle's first poon. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you did good. Brains. Beauty and bra. Buns out. Guns out. <laughs>